We don't got to spend too much time on these next two games, but Panthers 36, Raiders 22. We, Let down game on the Raiders. Listen, listen, listen. You know, you got all these people coming in. Panthers. Oh, Bryce Young, you know, they're, they're keep your head up. You know, uh, the situation is not on you, this and that. And, uh, you know, everyone's blaming, like, the Panthers organization. They're blaming the coaching staff. And then Andy Dalton goes in his offense and throws 300 yards and three touchdowns. The only quarterback this season who has done that. You know, it, it just kind of shows that Bryce Young was the problem. And it's not – it, people were taking it – it's not like Bryce Young can't come back for this, but he just needs to sit back and learn. You know, Chubba Hubbard was able to get going. Like, everything for this offense, Deontay Johnson, when someone can actually throw him the ball, he looks pretty good, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, this Panthers <laughs> – I think with, with Andy Dalton, the, the offense is going to be competent. Like, it's going to be able to uh, – it's going to look like an NFL offense. It's going to be ran the right right way. And you saw that week one. Um, obviously not the greatest situation – greatest, like, look for Bryce Young, obviously – but I, I don't think it's a situation where his career is necessarily already over. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's kind of crazy for people to say. But I do think we got to stop blaming, you know, the Panthers organization and all of this and that, like like just them. You know what I'm saying? Like it is Bryce too. Like he was not playing good football at all. So for Andy Dalton to come in there and do that versus the Raiders, it was impressive, man. Definitely impressive. 100%. And – you know, we'll see if Bryce gets another chance with the Panthers or what they do. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I Honestly, I want to know what was going through his mind at seeing this performance and seeing yeah. them. Like, that's got to it's got to hurt. Oh, it, it had to suck like, for sure. But. Like, it had to suck, but obviously you want to be a team guy and be happy you won. But, yeah, it's putting up 36 points. Andy Dalton playing what, what, how he did, like, it's got to suck. I think it could be a blessing in disguise from, you know, where it looks like, oh, it's like horrible from right now, but taking that time to learn, see how the offense should be ran, you know what I'm saying? How quick you have to be with your decision making, decisiveness. Um, I, I think that could help him for sure, bro, in long term his career. And something I was thinking about is like, what if the Jets, right? You we don't know how long Rogers gonna be here. What if the Jets kinda picked them up as that backup? Because the scary thing with the Jets is they don't really have a successor plan with after Rogers, right? Uh, what if the Jets picked him up? He got to sit behind uh, Rodgers for like a year or two, maybe. He's going to have the weapons. He's going to have the defense. I'm just, I was just just thinking, but yeah. just like thinking like where he would fit, you know? Yeah. Another one I thought it was actually, the, I mean, the Dolphins. I mean, who knows what two is going on. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you wouldn't have the luxury of being behind a guy. I mean, unless Tua does come back and play. You know, I still don't know what to expect there, but you know, Tua similar doesn't have a crazy arm strength. Another Alabama quarterback, you know, not a crazy athlete. You know, in terms of running, you know, he's just makes quick decisions. I think Bryce can learn from from guys like Tua, and yeah. obviously we have the weapons. So, what about sitting behind Stafford? You know, for until he finishes his career, especially you know with McVay too. Just yeah. because, just because, like Tua is probably going to come back. You know, I was kind of thinking like a veteran older quarterback. Like, what mm -hmm. if he's able to just sit behind a guy like that for like two years and his career and then, you know, get on the field? Um, I don't yeah. know. It's going to be interesting to see how his path, you know, continues. But shout out Andy Dahl, man, balled out. Yeah, you know? for sure. Uh, and just quick thing about the Raiders. They can't run the ball. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, the, I think them and the Bears are probably the two worst rushing attacks. Um I mean, they got they got the weapons. You know, Minshew's – he's just fine. He's not – you know, in perfect world, he'd be your backup. Um, yeah. I like their weapons, though. Uh, I, I do think the Raiders – and obviously I love Max Crosby. I think they just are the quarterback away from having any chance of doing something. But, you know, obviously they got to run the ball too. Uh, that's another problem, but – yeah, I'm just no, – I'm, yeah, I don't know. The Raiders just aren't that good of a team to me right now. I know they beat the Ravens, when, but – When is Devontae Adams getting traded? That's what I'm – that's all I'm thinking about with this Raiders team because I think it's coming. Uh, I think it would have came earlier last year, but with the Antonio Pierce signing, I think they took a stance with it and waited, like, can you turn this around? But Raiders lose two more games. I'm telling you, Devontae Adams is going to be on that trade block, and one of those destinations is going to be the New York Jets. 
Yeah. I think they want to play with each other. They've talked about it before again. You know, the Jets definitely need, you know, uh, another weapon in that offense. Um, I could definitely see it happening, man. I mean, they're a win-now mode, too. Like, Yeah, you don't have a win-now. We just talked about it. Not, yeah, not many teams in win now mode are going to want to trade for a, a, a veteran receiver because, um, A, they might not need him at all, and, B, they just don't want to pay and give up assets for it. So a team like the Jets, though, like the guy Aaron Rodgers, you're in win now mode like they this have year, next year. won a playoff game in 14 years, I think. Like yeah. you have to – It's been Mark Sanchez. Yeah, Rodgers is 40. <laughs> He's coming off an Achilles injury. Like, you have to be in a mindset. Like, for the Jets, it's the only – I think they're the only situation where it's like – not the only situation. There's probably a few more. But where they're like – they literally have a year or two to win. Like, to literally win. Making the playoffs, making the AFC Championship is enough, like, to win. Like, that's literally their window. Because you don't have a successor plan with, at quarterback. Um, yeah. So, it's going to be interesting. You're not going to have a top ten pick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's exactly. So it's, yeah, I mean, if I'm the GM for them, I'm doing everything I can to get a guy like Devonte or shit, even like D Hop, someone. You know, I feel like D Hop could be on the move too, potentially, possible. or something. Like that. So, yeah, I think getting another receiver if they, if they continue to win and look good, I think could be huge for them. Uh, yeah. Down, down late in the year, 